Welcome back to the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to take a screenshot. Now there are different ways to do this. So I'm going to show you a few different methods and you pick the way that is most helpful for you. I'm also going to show you how to print the pictures that you've taken after you've screenshotted it. And I'll also go over how to print a web page and how to print from an email as well. So you make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss any of those important tips. So. Let's start with the easiest way to take a screenshot, button combination. Let's say I want to take a screenshot of just my home screen like this. I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to hold down on the power and the volume down button for one second and that's going to trigger a screenshot just like this. Power, volume down, hold, let it go. You'll see this pop up. You can tap on the pop up to see the screenshot that was taken. It'll then give you a pop-up of some editing options you can use to make adjustments to the picture. For example, I can crop by simply going to the edge. There's these little black L's in the corners and you can drag on those to shrink down your picture. I can tap on this pin and I can circle different things on the picture. I can also add text by tapping on the T here. And when you're all done, you can share that picture out you can delete it or you can simply hit the checkbox to save it. So that's our first method to screenshot. For the second method, you can only take a screenshot of something within an app. So I can't screenshot my home screen, but let's say I want to screenshot my Candy Crush game. This is the beginning of the level. Let's say I want to screenshot this. I'm going to just swipe up from the bottom and tap on that recent apps button. And this is my screenshot button here. If I tap on this, it will take a picture of my screen and give me the little pop-up in the corner. So that's the second way. Now, we've taken all these screenshots. The next question is, where does it save the screenshots after I take it? Well, it's gonna save it to your Google Photos, which you'll find on the home screen. Tap on Google Photos. So here's Google Photos. I'm gonna go to library, and here it's created a folder and named it screenshots, and I'll find all three of those screenshots in this section, okay? Now, some of you guys are not the biggest fans of Google Photos. The app can be a little annoying, so if you want something simpler to use than Google Photos, go to the Play Store and simply do a search for gallery, and look for this first app right here. This is an app created by Google. It is a simpler gallery app. It's free to download, and guess what? it's not gonna ask you to back up your photos. It's just a very simple stripped down version of Google Photos. Here, I have a tab for photos and I have a tab for folders. Okay, let's go back to Google Photos and I wanna show you how to print one of the screenshots after you've taken it. So let's say I wanna print the picture of my Candy Crush game. I'm gonna go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots and I'm gonna swipe over and you'll see a print button. I'm gonna tap on print. Now, you wanna make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. So I'm gonna swipe down from the top and I am connected to Wi-Fi, so that's great. Next, you need a compatible wireless printer. Most wireless printers that you'll purchase in 2024 or 2025 will uh, be able to print from your phone. Let me walk you through the process. You're gonna tap on select a printer Make sure your printer is turned on as well. Now I have an Epson XP 4200 series. It's a very simple printer, it's under $100. I'll also link it on screen right here in case you're looking for a printer. So here I'm gonna tap on my Epson XP 4200 and I'm gonna tap on this little print button and that's gonna send this right to my printer. That's it, super easy. That's how you print a picture from your phone to, the, to your printer. Now, what if you want to print from an email? Well, let's go to an email. And here, let's just find any email. And let's go to this Samsung email here. Let's say I want to print this email. I'm going to go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, and come down to print. And here, I'm going to select a printer as well my Epson XP4200. Now, if you don't see your printer in the list, you can always go to all printers and it should show up there. I'm gonna tap on my XP Ep Epson. And sometimes it will take a little time for it to load properly. 
So right now, what you notice is you don't see a preview of the email I'm trying to print, and you don't see the print button. If, if this happens to you, don't worry. You just need to wait a minute because the it's trying to load all the information for it to print. Now here's a little trick that might make it show up faster. Tap on this little button next to the Epson. Tap on this and go to save as PDF. And look, the preview shows automatically. Now go back right here, save as a PDF, go to the drop down again and tap on the Epson. And when you do that, it got all of the images to load from the email and our print button is here and now we're ready to print. So that's a little trick that'll help you in case you get stuck there. Now lastly, I wanna show you how to print from a web page. So let's go to Google Chrome and I'm on Amazon and let's say I just wanna print this page that has these Beats by Dre earbuds. I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner and I'm gonna tap on the three dots here, but you'll notice there's no print button in here. Don't worry, there's just one extra step. We're gonna tap on share and then the print button is right here. I'm gonna tap on print. It's loading the preview just like it did with the email. Now we have our trick, select a printer, go to save as a PDF, and it should load the preview faster. There it is. Now I'm gonna go back to Epson so it knows to send it to the printer. Now here's another important tip. Notice here it says one of 20. If I try to print that page, it's printing 20 pages of information because it's printing customer reviews and recommendations and a bunch of other stuff. So if you only want this first page to print, you can come down here and just uncheck all the other pages. In the bottom right corner, there's a little check. Just tap on the check and it'll turn into a minus and then it won't print those pages. So that's one important note there. You can also, uh, right under where it says paper size letter, tap on this drop down, and here you can make other modifications. So for example, right here it says I'm printing page one and then seven through 20. I can simply just erase and just have page one here. So that way it'll only print the first page. I can also say, hey, instead of printing in color, I want this to be in black and white. I don't care about the color. You would tap where it says color, now, normally it gives you the option, right now it's not, but on yours it should give you an option to change this from color to black and white. You can also change the number of copies. Maybe you want to print five copies instead of one. Tap in the box, change the number from one to five. And that's it. Hit the arrow up, and it's not loading the preview again, no problem. We're gonna hit the drop down, hit save as a PDF, go back to Epson, and now we'll tap on that print button to send this to the printer. And this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Obviously, we started with how to take a screenshot and a lot of people always follow up and ask, well, how do I print it after I take the screenshot? So I wanted to just include both of those tutorial tips in one video. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. Uh, I will leave a link in the description of some printer recommendations if you would like to get a wireless printer that will easily work with your phone. Um, I love Epson. Um, they have some, uh, they have great inexpensive printers. And so I'll link some of those below. Uh, and I'll link to some other helpful videos here and here. Thanks again for watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.